This is a GTX 970 and we're going to see how well it plays Fortnite here in 2024. Depending on your CPU, you might get different results than us, but you can pick this graphics card up for only $47 on somewhere like eBay. So let's look at our PC specs that we're going to be using and hop into some Fortnite games. All right, so just to take a look, we are running the i5 12600K with 32 gigabytes of RAM running at 5600 megahertz. So that is DDR5 RAM. And of course, our graphics card is the GTX 970. So we're going to run some different tests here. First at 1080p, we're going to run DirectX 12. We're going to unlimit our FPS just for, you know, the sake of doing that. And we're going to run it on like competitive settings. So everything's going to be low or turned off except for the view distance. We're going to leave that on far. And if I can remember, we'll just go to the underworld for every FPS test to try to make it consistent. And once we land, we will um, pull up our uh, FPS average counter that will also show us our 1% lows. This will help us keep and maintain a, uh, a good Ooh, that was bad, but you know, whatever. It'll help us kind of maintain a, a good look at the FPS. Oh man. All right, so we got a lot of bots over here at this area that we're at. Oh, I almost got killed by more than waffles, man. That would have been embarrassing. All right, so it looks like we're holding close and steady at 125 FPS. All right, we're going to rotate through and see if we can see what's going on at Grim Gate over here. So I'm getting away from the site a little bit and our FPS is dropping below like 100 there for a second. And it seems to be around this green water that it drops a little bit down to 100. And Fortnite is just a finicky game in a lot of ways. And I drove this car into the thing and... Yes, sir. Oh, you tried to come in here with them fists. But so far, we're still holding steady at that 123 FPS. 1% lows around 70. I mean, I guess that could be better. But, uh, you know, it's not anything that really bothers me that much. The green water did to us. I gotta be in a pure bot lobby. Still holding steady at 120 FPS, although it has dropped some. And the more that we're like running around on the map, it tends to. Well, that's uh, first game, 118 FPS average based off everything that went on during the game. I do think it was kind of on the lower end as we uh, started to get into more fights there in the end game. So that wasn't too bad though. All right, so now we'll run the graphics card on performance mode and see how much that makes a difference in our FPS numbers. All right, so now we're on performance mode, 1080p. View distance far, textures low, meshes low. We may experiment with high meshes as well just to see what our difference is. Again, we're gonna go to the underworld every game to see what our FPS is like. Once we land, we'll turn on the FPS counter like we have here so that we can see our average and our 1% lows. And right now we're sitting at 270 FPS off the rip. All right, we'll see if we can win the underworld and then rotate to Old Grim Gables and kind of take the same loop path that we did in the last game just to be somewhat consistent with our FPS numbers. Doesn't look like I'm finding my plethora of combat shotguns like I did the last game. Alright, 
So, so far, our FPS average was sitting at 295. Um, you know, occasionally we have some crazy jumps up into like the 300s and 350s. Uh, just like the last one though, in the water, it's dropping to like 240-ish, 270-ish. Okay, so we're still rocking 288 FPS or so, and we're heading into, there's only like 13 people left. This could give us a better idea of how things are going to go. Um, as you can see, my FPS, if you look at the top number, that D3, D11, that FPS number is dropping lower as we get later into the game. But, you know, I think it just, it also just really has to do with where you're at in the map. So, like here, we're, we drop below 200 a couple times. It is so ridiculous how fast those people can switch. Oh, let's go get the turret. Let's go get the turret. Let's go get the turret. We're at 250. That I feel is average. And I thought their symptoms were up here. I need to appear, but can you see it? I am going to try to camp a little bit to the end of the game to see if I can uh, get an FPS average. Like a better FPS average for you guys at the end, end of the game. There's still seven people alive. Well, that didn't go as planned at all. So paired with the right CPU, the GTX 970 on performance mode is not too bad at all here in 2024. Let me know if there's another CPU or GPU that you want tested down in the comments. And if you want to see how it does, 